MTV plays all over town. Give it up for Harry Turjanian. Yeah, MTV. Talk about rebellion, guys. The music television network. What the fuck is this? I don't know if I, I have Luke Gehrig's disease or what. I feel like I can't lift this for a second. Well, it's, it's what? Is it too soon to joke about Luke Gehrig? <laughs> No, it just freaked me out for a second because it's a mic stand. And you, I've lifted a hundred mic stands in my life. And then this one, I'm like, what the fuck happened to my left arm? Am I having a stroke? No, it's just a heavy mic stand because they don't... Uh, it's, the place is 8 by 10, so they don't want the mic stand falling in and injuring everyone in the room, I guess. All right, fair enough. Uh, thank you for having us, John. That's very nice of you. Um, I love doing political shows because you get to talk about stuff that uh, people eating chicken wings do not give a shit about. So... Uh, thank you for indulging me in that. Um, interesting year, of course, uh, for politics and just the world in general. The, this is the summer of the BP oil disaster. That's, uh, that's amazing. Here's the one bright spot about the uh, BP oil disaster. Uh, it makes me feel a lot less guilty about peeing in the ocean. I will say that. <laughs> because it used to bother me, but, uh, you know, after that happens, I mean, let's be honest, peeing gives a... Who cares, you know? At this point, I could drive a Buick into the Pacific once a day for a year, and I'd still be way above the karma scale than the people at BP. I'd be doing all right. The amazing thing about the BP oil spill to me is the people who had to defend the oil companies because they received money from the oil companies. People who, my favorite excuse was uh, the, uh, well, oil is part of nature. It's from nature. So what's the harm? Like, you're right. Yeah, oil is from nature. And uh, nature had a place for it in the ground because it's fucking poison. <laughs> Stop acting like, hey, listen, if God didn't want us to have oil, he wouldn't have made it so easily accessible. Two miles below the surface of the sea. Isn't that really blaming the victim at that point? Like, listen, Earth, if you want people drilling inside you, maybe you shouldn't go out dressed like that, is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. The nature puts on the short shorts, you can end up on a pool table. What do you expect? <laughs> Or the, uh, another person who had to defend the oil companies was uh, the governor of Mississippi, a, a conservative who received money from the oil companies. And uh, he had to come out, this was, he came out and said, uh, the oil spill itself is not that bad. Uh, what is bad is uh, the media talking about it has hurt the tourism industry here in Mississippi. And I thought, what an outlandish, crazy thing to say. Mississippi has a tourism industry? <laughs> Apparently, who are the people vacationing in Mississippi? What type of people are picking Mississippi as a travel destination? Oh, God, it feels so good to get out of Arkansas. Thank God. Oh, man, finally some culture. Like, if you're the type of person who thinks Mississippi is a good travel destination, then uh, oil is the least of your worries. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. Just have some shrimp. Enjoy. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Either that or we don't need you. It doesn't matter at that point. And then uh, we had to endure the, uh, the beauty of all the commercials that BB had to put out, the damage control commercials where the CEO has to come on television uncomfortably read cue cards so we can pretend that he gives a fuck. You don't. You don't give a fuck. Stop pretending you're a nice guy. You're not a nice guy. You work for the oil company. All right? I'm not even saying that judgingly. If that's what you do, that's what you do. But don't stop going on TV. You know, when I'm not involved in an industry that uh, ruins the American economy, uh, destroys the earth and indirectly funds terrorism. I like hugs. I like hugs. Uh, I like ice cream and puppy dogs and things of that ilk. Like, you know what? No, you work for the oil company. You're just one step above a James Bond villain, all right? Like, hello, I'm Dr. No, and you might have read some news stories about one of my missile plants blowing up and spewing nerve gas into the Caribbean. Well, I want to assure the American people that we care about the environment almost as much as we care about blowing up the moon. Like, that's enough. Who cares? You work for the oil company is all I'm saying. You're an asshole. It's, it's just fine. It's an you have to do things. Listen, we all have to do things we're uncomfortable doing. You know, I, I have to do something I'm uncomfortable doing. I shop at Walmart all the fucking time. And I feel guilty about it. I know you're, here's the thing. You're judging, and I understand. I'm, I feel guilty about it. I know you look at the lineup, and you go, these comedians, wow. You look at you go, hey, Jamie Kilstein's here. Mike Kaplan, he's on Last Comic Stand. And these guys are in the loop. I guarantee if I threw down a slice of bread, they'd fight like hobos over it. Because we get paid shit to do this. We get nothing. It'd be like railroad car fucking fear factor. So I have to, I have to do something I don't want to do. I have to shop at Walmart. I know it's bad. 
I know not, not only is it bad for me, I know the food is bad for me. Because nothing can be that cheap without consequences. I know that. Every time I buy, like, you know, ground beef from there, I expect, you know, to go out and see someone shouting, Value pack is people! It's made of people! And that's... I keep expecting that to happen, because that's how it happens. That's how all that shit happens. You think it's going to be some big revolution, like the running man? It's not. You think they're going to put chips in our hands? They don't. We have... We have iPhone apps that let everyone know where we are at any moment and any time. That's how it happens. You don't have to put chips in people's hands. What? Oh, I can carry a device that lets you know where I'm at at any given moment? All right, congratulations, big brother. You win because I like to play Pong on my telephone. So now you know where I am at any given moment. Uh, the insurance thing, that's another thing that's, uh, that's going on this year. Um, I really had high hopes for that. Obama started out pretty strong with that, didn't he? And then it just... Uh, you compromise and then nobody wins, which is amazing. Uh, that, yeah, the conservatives are still pissed off. Liberals are not happy with the way that, that it's not really universal health care. You know, you can't, you can't compromise. You can't get too many people involved and you compromise. It doesn't work, okay? You, unfortunately, you have to piss off people. You ever try to order a pizza with five or more people? It's fucking impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. You can't do it. All right, guys, we want to get, uh, we wanna get a, a pizza pie. Who do you guys want? I want pepperoni. I don't want pepperoni. It's gross. I want sausage. I can't have sausage. I eat vegetable. Let's do pineapple. Pineapple? What are you, a fucking idiot? No, we're not doing pineapple. And then finally one person in the room goes, you know what? That's it. Plain. We're getting plain. <laughs> and that's how you end up with two and a half men. That's what happens. Is uh, that many people involved. And that's how that works out for you. The insurance thing is amazing to me. Uh, the idea about, uh, first of all, the idea that, uh, that Obama had to come out and deny death panels, that there would be death panels. The President of the United States had to make a speech where he had to go, there will be no death panels in my health care plan because this is a democracy and not Return of the Jedi. So there will be no death panels. He had to come out and say that. And then the idea that it's going to make us communists somehow, because we have a socialist idea like universal health care. Like it's going to make us communists and Nazis. That was the other thing that the president was. Can you remember all the, we all remember those great speeches Hitler gave about universal health care. Remember though that we must all make sure that all the children of the world are covered with insurance and also the Jews. Like that didn't, that's not how I remember it going down is all I'm saying. And um, just like, like the idea, you're, every, every other fucking civilized country in the world does it, and we don't want to do it. Why is that? Why do we refuse to do it? This is America. It doesn't work that way. You know, what, what's so bad about having universal health care? You know why they do it in Europe? Not just because it's, it, it, overall it's cheaper and it helps people, because it's just fucking easy. That's why they do it in Europe. Why would you want to fill out all those forms when you could be fucking and drinking wine? Like, oh, God. <laughs> Good job, Prime Minister Sergey. I do realize. <laughs> Good idea. And I'll just briefly talk about the, uh, the Arizona law thing, which is uh, about the immigrants and stuff. Uh, you know, the, the idea that, uh, here's the thing, I can't really argue for illegal immigration. It's hard to argue because it's illegal, but stop <laughs> pretending that it's for our freedom. It's not. It's not for our freedom. Anytime you see a Mexican carrying a truck full of fertilizer, they're probably going off to fertilize something. We're gonna be okay, is all I'm saying. And they wonder why you care about giving that much authority to the police. I'll tell you, the taser. That's why we care about the, uh, the, the authority. Because the taser started out as something for non, you know, to get rid of people. You know, it's, it was a last resort before using a gun, right? Remember that? that was with, and then now we've started tasing people for jumping onto the field during baseball games. I don't remember that being a big problem in the 70s and 80s. I don't remember people getting shot during baseball games. I don't know. Maybe I was watching differently. I don't remember. Because that's how it starts. You know why I'm not allowed to carry a taser? because I would tase people with it. That's why, on a daily, but the number of people I would take, it would be endless. You would have to change my name to Isaac Taze. That's how many people I would be tasing. I'd have to bring the taser in for repairs after two days. Like, how'd you burn out the battery of a taser in two days? High school reunion, that's how. Now charge it up, because I got a trip to Yankee Stadium that's long overdue. All right, guys, thank you for having me.